Good Friday morning, I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt, and we're looking live outside with our Gwaltney Group camera. This is from Assisi Heights. Beautiful sunshine, loving that. It looks like a, a terrific morning. Sadly, it is especially cold this morning. In fact, the coldest feeling morning of the season so far. And the bad news is, it's likely going to get even colder over the weekend. So be ready for this. We have a couple more days of this really, really rough, brutally cold weather before we do finally see that, that change that we've been waiting for, that slow warm up. We'll have that next week. We do have some better weather down the road. I promise you that we go show you that in the seven day in a few minutes and that'll be fantastic. We'll all rejoice. We'll have a big smile. We'll be happy. And eventually in about seven to 10 days, it'll feel better. Right now though, it is cold. It's sunny. This is uh, uh, again, uh, early, look outside on this Friday morning, a day that we will fail to reach zero yet again this week. I, I've lost track now how many times we've had sub-zero high temperatures already this week. Yesterday we had two below zero for high temperature. Today for high temperatures around three below zero and I don't think we're going to be as warm as zero until Monday, not above zero most likely until Tuesday of next week. That is a long stretch of cold weather. Not quite the record overall, but getting close to that territory for the longest stretch of sub-zero weather in our history. Uh, uh, we set that record back about five days was the length of that uh, back in 1996. Uh, in a similar time frame, too, early part of February back in 96, that really cold stretch of weather. Uh, today, look for sunshine uh, throughout the day, sub-zero through, well, the entire day, but double digits below zero, nine o'clock. Uh, by lunchtime, about uh, six below zero and a high of three below zero. The wind chill at best today. The warmest it will feel is about uh, about 20 below zero. Believe it or not, we have a wind chill advisor that runs until uh, at noon today. Here are the wind chill values we're expecting at 30 to 35 below zero until about 10 this morning. 21, 22 below zero right around uh, the mid-afternoon hours and then right back to the 30 to 35 below zero range overnight tonight. Winds kind of on the brisk side. We've had the fairly light winds recently with very cold temperatures, but not quite this cold. So this combination today is making for an especially cold morning. These numbers are terrible. Uh, 13 below zero, the current temperature in Rochester. This is just about a quarter to eight o'clock on this Friday morning. 33 below zero, the wind chill. That, sadly, is something we will revisit at some point this weekend. Most likely Sunday morning will be even colder than that. Uh, so keep that in mind here over the next few days. Uh, it is going to be a very cold weekend, uh, though we are going to see a lot of sunshine. Uh, right now, current temperatures across the area, 15 below zero Dodge Center, Mesa City 12 below, Rochester at the airport 13 below here on the weather patio. It is now 12 below zero here as we approach eight o'clock and I think we will get close to zero maybe here in Northwest Rochester, but most likely not officially uh, in that capacity for quite some time. High pressure still diverting all the main energy south of us. We did have the little ripple of energy that brought some snow last night, half an inch of snow here uh, to uh, Rochester, a little less than that on the weather patio. Another system will come in tonight and do the very same thing, about half inch or less of snowfall for our Friday night. Sunshine throughout the day and future cast. We'll look for high temperatures today around three below. There's a snow, most of it in North Iowa. They will see maybe a little more than half an inch, but most of the area, uh, half inch or less, I think at this point. Uh, winding down tomorrow morning around eight, maybe nine in the morning. So mainly just an overnight thing, 10 p.m. to about 8 a.m. with that snow chance. And that, yeah, it's working the third shift, the snow uh, uh, storm system. Then tomorrow, cold sunshine. Look for highs around at one below zero. Tomorrow night, even uh, uh, clearer skies. And look at this, high pressure settling in. It is going to be very cold, 20 below zero to start the day Sunday. High temperature on Sunday afternoon, six below zero. Snow tonight, and look at that, uh, half inch or less in most spots. And uh, that's what we're facing, uh, winding down tomorrow morning around eight or nine in the morning. Wind chill values, so we look ahead at uh, future, uh, future cast here. Let's move that ahead here a little bit. Uh, We're moving into that uh, 30 below range today and then through tonight about 25 to 30 below zero. And then by Sunday morning, look at some of these, these off the chart numbers. Uh, these might be a little on the cold side. This is the GFS model. Sometimes it overdoes it a little bit, but I would not be surprised to see a couple of 40 below zero numbers on 
Sunday morning uh, to start the day. Because the temperature is going to be around 20 below zero. We still have that nagging northwest wind. At times, it's still going to be in that 10 to 12 mile per hour range. So that's going to yield a wind chill around 35 to 40 below. We may get colder than that at times. So that is what we're facing on Sunday, the coldest day of this entire winter, I think, at this point. Three below zero today in Rochester, five below in Austin, uh, six below in Albert Lee, zero in Winona. They're the lucky ones, not quite sub zero at least for a day. Wind chill 20 to 30 below for the afternoon hours. Three below zero, the expected high temperature. And the wind chill advisory goes until noon today. 13 below zero tonight, less than half an inch of snow. Snow develops around 10 p.m., ends uh, an hour or two after sunrise tomorrow. Uh, look for a high of one below zero tomorrow. Partly sunny skies, snow early. That wind at up to 15 miles per hour keeps that wind chill 20 to 30 below all day tomorrow. Here's the outlook for the weekend uh, up through President's Day. By then, we're looking at highs around zero. But Sunday, uh, I think, without a doubt, it will be the coldest day of the season. Now, we had a similar day last on Super Bowl Sunday. We had a high of five below, but it wasn't as breezy. This, this wind on Sunday may be on the rough side. Seven-day forecast looking ahead at a warming trend. From there, I mean, Monday morning, 22 below zero. It's going to be brutal on the weather patio. I'm not looking forward to that. But, you know, by then, I'll probably be numb and, 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 and used to it. But... Um, it does get better, though, from there. Uh, single digits Tuesday, teens above zero Wednesday through Friday, and I think next weekend, we're talking maybe mid-20s, above zero for next Saturday and Sunday. And I was looking at some of the data for the end of the month. There's a possibility we see some 30s here and there between the, the 21st and the 28th. So there is a chance we'll start seeing some pretty uh, livable weather before this month is finished. As for people looking for more snow, it does not look like a very snowy environment. Arctic high pressure is not good for producing a lot of snow. We have a little coating here and there like we did last night, we'll do again tonight, but nothing major in the way of snowfall for a really long time, maybe not even this month. Uh, maybe, you know, March is hit or miss. Sometimes we have a snowy March, sometimes we don't, but right now this February, not necessarily a very snowy one, just a very bright and very cold one. Uh, in the meantime, have a great weekend. Stay warm. We'll see you back here on President's Day Monday and have a happy Valentine's Day.